Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another tutorial. I'm sorry for my absence as I've been away on holiday but now I'm back and I'm ready for a tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to do some basic photo editing. Uh, some of you might argue that I have gone over the top with this edit but I just want to demonstrate the tools that you can use to you know give your photos a bit more of a kind of flair. So let's get started. Let's start by closing this. Okay, you want to open your file up by going File, Open, and then select your file. The first place I like to start is with the Crop Tool. You can find this in the Tools palette over here. It's always good to get your composition sorted out before you do any sorts of color editing and such. So I'm just going to drag this down a bit, get rid of this like kind of green emptiness. And, and with the new version of Photoshop, you have this rule of thirds. And the general rule of the rule of thirds is to put your points of interest where these lines intersect. These lines are just basically thirds. And where these intersect, your eye will be drawn to that point. So that's a nice crop right there. Click the tick. Okay. Now what I'd like to do is go to Image Adjustments Levels. Alternatively, you can press Control L and click that. Now here in the levels kind of palette, you can drag these sliders to in basically increase the contrast. But what you're doing is you're bringing all those black values closer to the white values so you get this increased contrast. So what I'm going to do, I don't like to tweak it in too much. Well, it depends on the photo. About 35 is good for me. And by the way, this is my own photo, so I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to share this with you guys. So if you want to find your own photo and follow along, that's perfectly fine. And I'm just going to bring those whites up. And that's good. So 237. But yeah, by adjusting your whites, you get more of those white values coming through. So mine, I'm going to keep mine at 237. If you untick this preview, you can really see the difference it's made already. Okay. When you're ready and you're done, press OK. Now go to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance. This is where you can kind of play, you can kind of play with which colors are like more dominant in the scene. So if I bring up the reds, there's going to be more reds. Pretty self-explanatory. So what I want is I'm going to go to shadows and I'm going to make the shadows a bit more green. Yeah, I'm going to bring the highlights of the blues up a bit, just a bit. I uh, may adjust the midtones, you know, just play around. See what feels good. No, I'm keeping. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to create this contrast between the blue and the green, or the bluey purpley and the green, to like kind of really highlight the water droplets in the plant. So you can enter the preview, see the difference it's made. It's quite nice. And now another tool you can use is the image adjustments. Hue saturation. Alternatively, you can press Control and U on a Mac. That would be the Apple button, the Command button, and U. And if you want to change all the colors of the scene, you can adjust this Hue slider here, and you get some really funky results. But what I find with adjusting this Hue slider here is that oh, let's go to something really funky. Around the edges of certain things, you get this really nasty color. So I. The general rule of mine is not to play with this, but sometimes if we go to something like, I don't know, 81, you get quite nice results. Maybe that's a bit extreme. If it is a bit extreme, you can turn down the saturation. If you turn it down all the way, you get black and white. Or you can turn it up if it's not extreme enough. Okay. Say if you had something like this, but around here, it's a bit extreme. If you turn down the saturation, press OK, and then go to Image Adjustments, Brightness Contrast, and just bring up the contrast a bit and then you've brought that kind of vibrance back. I'm going to undo that with Control alt z Control alt z So now we've got back to the original one. And then if you wanted you can make your photo black and white with image adjustments desaturate or alternatively you can press Control shift and U. But as you can see it's a bit blown out so you might have to go back sorry, you might have to go back into your levels, image adjustments, levels, and you can tweak this gray slider. You have to tweak it all again to get your desired, uh, the desired result. 
So that's basically it for today guys. It's quite a short tutorial. I'll be bringing you another tutorial on what tools you can use to make photos black and white. So that's it.